Hey, good afternoon, everybody from Fisherman's Digest. We got my buddy Eric Long. We got Jordan on the rod. I'm steering. We got a great big freighter going by. Welcome to Ludington, Michigan for an evening bite here in late August. Stay tuned for an awesome show. This is just an assortment of Dreamweaver spoons. Now these are the smaller ones. This is an A-bomb, this is a Glow Green Jeans. This one here is really good as a slider, but we're not really running riggers deep today, so I'm not sure we're gonna run sliders. That's a king. It is a king. Angry. Angry king, it's perfect. He's fresh, boy. He's really silver. Nice job, Jordan. <laughs> Good job. Way to go, Jordan. Thanks for joining us. Eric Long, he's in control of the back of the boat. Jordan's steering. I'm just kind of here narrating. Good job, girlie. Into the live while she goes. So this is a 300 copper. And what that basically means to guys who fish a lot is basically every 100 foot of copper is gonna go down about 21, 22 feet. So we're gonna be somewhere around 60, 60 to 65 feet of water. It's speed dependent for sure, but um, it's pretty consistent. Guys who run them a lot have got confidence of where they're at. 2.5, you know, 2.5 miles an hour, you can be pretty sure it's somewhere right where you think it is, 2.5. Twenty five is my best rest. <laughs> I was like, Come on. Huh? Adult. We like adults. Oh my. Getting to be busy on the point. There's a group of boats there too. It's only at like six. Okay. Little offshore board, 225 copper, pulls just fine. <laughs> Yeah, one of the things you gotta be careful for with kings is they'll fight, they'll fight, they'll fight, and then all of a sudden they'll run right at the back of the boat, boy, and you have to keep up with them or you'll lose the hooks and the game will be over. There he is. Ooh. Can we, can we get lucky? <laughs> I don't know. I'll be ready if we can. He's got his head up, which is awesome. I bring him right to my net. Gotcha. Stay low here. Oh, oh shoot. That's a big giant trout. Oh, is it? Ah. 
check your diver. That is a big trout too. It's a king. It's weird. I've never, never seen. That is a good spoon. They like that thing. That that king is fresh. It's weird. He he ate that spoon. That's the problem. You bent my spoon to bits. We'll have to bend it back. Eric will have to do some doctor work on that spoon, but nice king. Fisherman's Digest is brought to you by Angler Quest, built with purpose. Trax Tech, the ultimate fishing system. Strike King, tie one on. Garmin. We all want to keep moving, and we all need fuel to do it. Now, with the revolutionary Flow Fast system, you can fuel up and keep moving from literally anywhere. Flow Fast will pump or siphon an amazing eight gallons per minute so you can get back to what you do best. To find out more about Flow Fast, go to flowfast.com. Flow Fast, fuel up, keep moving. So what I'm doing here is setting up the rigger and I just got a blacks release here and I'm just gonna snip it in after I wind it a few times. We're fishing for kings so we're setting it a little bit stiff. One of the cool things about the Trax Tex is now that I'm ready to go, Jess will show you here, I got a target deck in there at, 50, at 55. All I gotta do is hit the auto down and it'll go right to 55. I don't have to sit and think about it. Easy peasy. And that way when I catch a fish, same thing. Hit auto up, rigger gets out of the way, and I'm right back to where I was. <clears throat> then I just cinch this up. tell the drag you can know when you're when you've got enough tension on because your drag will, won't let it come in anymore that's the way I use it sometimes you put too much tension on it and uh, you can pull a couple if you want in but you don't want to sit and false release the, the rigor the whole time on the spoon Here you go, Jordan. He's running like a mad ass. He's staying high, but now you might have to get that diver out of there. Got it. <laughs> Way to go, Jordan. That thing is green. <laughs> that thing is really green. All right. Bait like mad right here. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah, I know. Huge. Huge bait. Good job, Jordan. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, that blue dolphin was, we just put it on. Well, he's it on. Yeah, that fish does once. Yeah. So that spoon that we just put on, it's a big old Dreamweaver blue dolphin. We'll show it to you. Right there it is. He whacked it hard. All right. Awesome fish for Jordan. Fish number two. At least she gets him on the boat. Open that <laughs> lid for me, Jordan. I don't want your fingers in there. Yeah. We lost the last two, it was disheartening, <laughs> the big ones. 
Talk about this bite, Eric. You've come here for years, uh, this time of the year. This is almost uh, can't fail as long as you get decent weather, right? Yeah, pretty much. It's uh, it's a good time of year to come. I um, mean, if the weather's good, like right now, it's set up where we're not in front of the harbor, which is nice. We're out here. We got a little bit of free space. We're not trolling around in the is. But if you get a big blow or you get like a big push of fish, you can fish right in front of the harbor. Or like today, we're seven miles from the marina, but we got most of the water to ourselves, which is nice. Exactly. And, and, and when we went out, there was a whole bunch of guys jigging. And that's kind of, I mean, it's been going on for 10, 15 years. But just recently, that's really taken off. Yeah, I mean, if you want to come over here and you get a blow day, you can jig the harbor. People have heard of who jig that with spoons. Uh, where you come out, you can troll crankbaits in the harbor. Exactly. Want, really. Right. PM Lake. Yeah. You, you can go right in PM and people catch those fish going right through there. It's understood, so whatever you want to run, your typical salmon spread, but it can be a little headache now with the jiggers. But Yeah, exactly. The jiggers are set up on their bow mounts, of course, guys, kind of almost like perch fishermen. They just don't move. They put their spot lock on, and it's just straight over the side of the boat. Fisherman's Digest is brought to you by Polar Craft, the toughest built aluminum boats, bar none. Dreamweaver, home of the revolutionary spin doctor. Lose, feel the difference. Wave Pro, best ride on the water. Wave Pro high performance boat pedestals eliminate bottoming out and back jarring impacts. Now available the 2.0 version and slider seat hubs. The best in air shock technology provides a controlled return to keep you on your seat. Fast and easy to install with permanent mounts or movable hubs for quick and easy seat placement in 10 to 16 inch models. Wave Pro, high performance boat pedestals, best ride on the water. Online at waveproshock.com. You're ready to net, you mean? No, I just, I'm like touching your line. I can't see. No. Yeah, I'm on net. Really? Yeah. I'm in your line, I don't know what's going on. I can feel it. Something's not good. Well, we'll just have to both keep reeling. My board's gone, which I have more boards. I don't care about well, that. Well, the board's on underwater. No, I'm in your line. I don't think so. You know, you're way over there. Yeah, my... See, I'm not. I'm straight back. You're fine. Well, this is a real one, too. Someone reel this. Somebody color. reel that board in. That's the one you're in. Yeah. Start reeling that seven color. I nope, got it. I, I got it. Just grab it. Here, George. Here you go, George. 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 There you go. I got, because I'm in there. I'm going to use this fish. Yeah. Just pull with me. I will. Go under, you see? Yep. You go under. <laughs> Just keep pressure on it. Yep. There's the fish. I see yeah, your I'm, fish. I'm in your line. Yeah, I know, but I. Now what I'm going to do is, we want this fish. So, so another one. You, no, no, that's the. Yours. No, that's that's the one I'm already hooked yeah, on. Yeah, I know. I was going to say, let that thing just hang out. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me when you're, I'm just gonna keep coming. Yeah, when you get close, just put it right in that rod over there. I'm gonna right here. Or the one behind you, I put the angled one. Where? The one that's like a net over. Yeah. You can start in that. But that's right. gonna get across a lot of lines. I don't know if I like well, that. Well, you can put it on the side over here, like that. On the straight side. Oh, I'd love to just get it oh, untangled. Like, he's just like going, I'm gonna wrap you up a thousand times here. Yeah. You know, I'm just trying to keep pressure on so Well, we just want the fish in because we got two hooked up and we want them both. Jordan, when I hand you this rod, just keep reeling it. Let's 
Put that in the holder, darling. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, in the net. Hold on, me. Take the net. Yeah, I'm loose. I'm gonna take that other fish. Let yeah. me take this. I got you, this one. is a train wreck. <laughs> oh. oh man, that's a 30. <laughs> I might have another one just as big. <laughs> it's gonna be a while. Look at the size of that freaking fish, Eric. Running at me. Yeah. <laughs> Look at these two train wrecks. Oh my goodness. Golly. Oh. You wait till you see these two. <laughs> Look at these two boys. That's Ludington <laughs> the way it should be. Sun's starting to go down. We lost one, but we got the two train wrecks. You get it, babe? Buddy, that is a monster. What's that? <laughs> Those were monsters. Oh. Fisherman's Digest is brought to you by Offshore Tackle Products, FlowFast, world's leading portable fluid transfer system, Drotto, catch and release boat system. Make loading and unloading your boat easy with the Dorado catch and release automatic boat latch. Load with ease, simply drive on the trailer and the Dorado will automatically latch to your bow eye. A hard plastic liner protects your boat. For launching, back your boat in, pull the release lever and away you go. For roller or bunk trailers, the Dorado is quick and easy to install and works with most V-hull boats. Spend less time at the landing and more time fishing. The Dorado catch and release automatic boat latch, online at doradoproducts.com. Straight into the wind. This way, Jordan. A little bit. Where is he? Yeah, I see him. Got him. Oh. Oh, gosh. Beautiful little, this is what they're going on guys. Green and glow. Green and glow is the key. Yep. Perfect. It's a little fatty. It's awesome. We'll get to it. So here we go, guys. We'll focus in on this. This one is a UV. You can tell by the red hook. Basically the same style of bait right here. This is what's been working. This is a blue dolphin. But these greens and glows have been just lights out. We've run them on riggers, we've run them on divers, we've run them on lead. It's been awesome. Dreamweaver makes an awesome product, whether it's the Super Slim 
or whether it's the standard size or the magnums. Today we use mostly the magnums or, or the standard size, but the super slim right here, in some circumstances like the diver and a seven color lead can be awesome. Let's grab some fish here, guys. Show them off. It's not a fish. We got doing the... Keep it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. It's a coho? Yeah, looks like it. Big, nice one though. Yeah. Awesome job. Hold that spoon up oh, there. Rigger. Oh, rigger, rigger, rigger. Go, That's Jordan. me. I get a, I get a real one in. There you go. <laughs> Just watch that drag. It's kind of weird. It's all right. What the heck do I have? It's got a nice touch. It's just down deep. It's just burying stuff. It's been a, been a struggle. We had three fish um, bend the hooks, literally bend the hooks, and came off. We didn't lose the bait or anything. The hook came in, one of those barbs bent completely over. We're talking about spoon hooks, you know, these are strong hooks. These fish are crazy out here in Ludington. It's an awesome, awesome, awesome afternoon. We're gonna hold these fish up at the end of the day, but thanks to Eric Long from Longlines Charters. Comes over here just for fun. Keep them coming, E. Right here again. Yeah! And that, guys, is the closer. <laughs> we did it, Jordy. We got eight. Thanks for joining us here on Fisherman's Digest. Thanks, Jordan. Thanks, Eric. The fish cooperated. Thanks, Ludington, for another awesome afternoon bite here. You got to come and visit this town. It's just stupid good fishing. We'll see you next week on Fisherman's Digest. Closed captioning is brought to you by WavePro. Best ride on the water. Online at waveproshock.com.